Mikey back in my office and uh, what a pleasure all the plans for the crew go in play and uh, just can't wait to get there feel the sun on my back the shadows of the evening falls and the bush noises is what we live for so the old fortune is ready the conqueror is packed I believe this is just going to be one of those ambiguous journeys again nice to be out in the open with my family and experience the things that we all love so dearly are we going to be photogenic geniuses on the strip? No. If we do pick up some good shots, so in advance I'm apologizing, it's just as we go on holiday and we experience things, it's just what's going to be recorded. It is true to nature, it is true to who we are. Uh, the fact that we do this is just purely for the love of excursions, overlanding, enjoying the vehicles, enjoying the bush, but more than anything else, enjoying my family time in this place that is very special we obviously it's the first night staying in Tanguiti the second night and there on for a good nine days we're staying in Senze my favorite bush camp the people Roger and Elena they are family to us when we go there it is like going home it is just going to be eight days in Senze of bliss the one day in Tanguiti and uh, it's just nice to camp the first night in one of those tented units and have a look over the Timbavati River so here we go and uh, let me share our experiences that we're going to experience in the bush well as you can see we threw the open gate we're now on our way to Tempriti and Tempriti camp just for all of you is a small camp situated on the banks of the Timbavati river this is on the western boundary of the Kruger park it's approximately about two k's from the open rest camp we could come in but let me tell you, you want to see sunsets? This is the place to be. We're going to get ready now for a bra and uh, as a family sit around the fire. This morning we're actually going to hit the S106 and then mosey on down towards Tenze, which is going to be our spot for tonight. But while we were along the S106, I stopped at 478 in the Lyre hut. Believe it or not, this used to be the entrance point to the park between 1926 and 1954. Today, this hut, as you can see, is a museum, and the name was reserved from the same as the farm at that site. This is a large section of some 24,500 hectares, which was donated to the country by the orphan family who bought up a number of farms in the area. The Raya of is a small museum in memory of the orphan family. A brief stop in Satora for coffee and rest before moseying on. On the way to Mapani, we come across some Ellie's having a good old scratch. I think we could all relate to that insatisfactory itch that we cannot get to. Similar to humans, Ellie's also get itchy. <laughs> they cannot reach your leg trunks, tusks, or legs, which they need satisfying. It's funny to watch them. They rub themselves at all angles on objectives to alleviate a good itch. As humans, we can relate to this. It is the same as rubbing our backs on door frames. To relieve an itch, they use stumps, rocks, trees, termite mounds. Often when you're in the bush, you will see one of these looking well polished. Having just crossed the Willifons River, there's always a leopard that hangs around on the right as you sort of mosey on. And as we were looking out for him, lo and behold, there he is, lined under a tree, having a good old afternoon nap. We just had to sit there and ponder and have a look for a while at this incredible beast. How's that spot of the day? We then took a slow drive down to Mopani so that we could book in uh, and get down to Tenze where we will spend the next eight days in Tenze as a home. My favorite place on earth. There is no better bush experience for me and my family. And we've arrived at Tenze. And as you can see, we've set up camp already. There's a the trailer. 
done. And we'll be right on the fence. And there's our setup. After a great evening around the campfire, waking up early the next morning, we decided to head in the direction of uh, the Tropic of Capricorn. And our favorite road is always as we pass the monument on the left hand side with the uh, badge of the Kruger on for Tropic of Capricorn, we turn right. One of my favorite roads in the park. Off to our favorite watering hole. It's a place that I often call Hitsville, as the amount of kills we've actually seen at this water hole. And not disappointed. As we get there, the elephants are starting to come in for their morning water and their water they play in the, in, in the mud, which is always a pleasure to see. So it was just nice to see as they come in and the young ones start to play in the mud and uh, the adults as always having their fall, just to quietly sit there and take this all in. There it was, a tusker, a big tusker. I have been to the Kruger my whole life and have been wanting to see this forever and a day. And there it is right in front of me. Must be one of the big tuskers. Walking around proudly showing off ivory like that. And as always, I need a phone to take pictures of this because <laughs> my camera batteries were flat. But what a moment, what a moment, what a moment. Just to sit there and have a look at this incredible big beast with these massive tusks. Truly a privilege and an honor to see something like this. An awe-inspiring moment. To end the day, sitting on the banks of the Senze, watching the sunset, moving over to the camp, sitting around the campfire, and thinking of what was a great day. As always, the morning starts with coffee and rusks, watching the sunrise in the bush, listening to the noises. Sit down, coffee at hand, rusks at hand, and this feeling that somebody's watching you. As I quietly looked up, there was this elephant bull right on the fence watching me. Has there been a moment in time where minds meet? This was so special. He quietly carried on with his business. I sat there and just took this in. This is what the bush is all about. These very, very special moments. Great morning start, then decided to go have breakfast and uh, on the way to my point in camp, lo and behold, I in a, with the two little cubs, stopped us for a moment because what a pleasure to have a look at her feeding and then moseyed on to the Mopani camp, have a look at the Pioneer Dam and have breakfast. Then we tackled our favourite Shongo Lolo who crosses the Tenze and oh, the nice little things we always see there, the little terrapins in the dam, the hippos, um, some beautiful game shots to be taken and really just one of those special loops that we like to travel going back to the main road and then moseying back towards camp. Just an awesome morning, smiles all around uh, as we got back into camp from the family, just that warm good feeling and then uh, Elena was waiting for us and she then wanted to show Mia some of the owls in the trees and they were walking through the bush and she was explaining to Mia uh, how the different owls and their habitats. What a way to end the day, man. This is the stuff life is made about.